Hi everybody, it's February 4th, 2015. I hope you got a chance to see the video I uploaded under the next great leap for mankind. Prior to that, I had put up four videos under um, common language for the globe and no space in between the words. And uh, those should be good take on why I think a common language is needed and some of the things uh, that we can look at to best approach in handling this uh, this uh, challenge that would be ahead of us but it's a it's such a wonderful thing that uh, it's well worth it uh, I at the same time yesterday uh, made a couple of short videos I thought I'm going to do what I was planning on doing in late 1990s. I left Oklahoma and went to San Diego for a little while because my brother was coming for treatment. Took a camcorder with me. I had one at the time. And I wanted to actually start teaching English and uh, videotaping it and having it available to people in Iran. This is way before... No, anything like YouTube and things like that, video sharing platforms were available to the extent that there's now. So this was this yeah, in late 1990s. A couple of things happened. I waited, and uh, so I've decided since I'm doing these videos, I will make a few videos and uh, just the basic rudimentary stuff about English uh, language. Uh, that I will make available for Farsi speakers anywhere in the world. Um, in Iran, they're blocking YouTube right now, but I'm sure people can find a way around it. Uh, just uh, to have done it, because this has been in my mind for so such a long time, with what we have available online, uh, I think if I just give them the beginning uh, elementary stuff, the rest of it they can take off. Uh, themselves. Uh, second video I put up, I bluntly said what my beliefs are, so people who don't agree with my beliefs, uh, they can they know it'll be transparent for them to decide. No, we don't want to listen to this idiot. Uh, so that was uh, I I I put what I believe, what what I won't change about my beliefs and uh, hopefully they'll see that and if they follow some of the videos uh, hopefully they'll find it helpful so i hope you watch uh, common F language for the globe uh, videos as well as the next great leap for mankind and then look at all the other videos i've put up some of those videos you'll you'll come across and you'll see that i've just I've done them for my granddaughter to see later on. Um, you'll you'll see them as you go along. But I think the best thing to do with these videos, because I've just done it to spare the moment, um, is to look them in order, because some of the things will not make sense if you don't do that. I've put up a long list of audio-visual resource material and uh, this might be repeating myself for the third or fourth time on these videos, but for if you're listening to this for the first time, I believe that right now, majority of especially adult people who have to earn a living are not going to have time to read all those uh, books that I would want them to read. So these audiovisual material would be like a late night class or lecture or fun lecture that they can listen to, watch at their convenience. And it would be almost like a seminar, uh, a touring seminar going through your town, city, village for that matter. As long as you have uh, a DVD player or, or uh, computer internet, uh, just depending on where, which part of the world you live in, I think those would be extremely helpful. And also on my Twitter page, I'm starting to put a lot of links to these videos that I've watched over the years or the conversations I've listened to. The list is long. 
but uh, hopefully I'll put them up here and there and uh, people can hopefully benefit from it. The whole idea is for us to learn the common language, to learn about the experience of federalism in the United States. And I'm not just talking the politics, I'm talking about the cultural aspect of American life, how it has grown to be the way it is, what are some of the challenges of federalism, how could it be manipulated by group or groups, um, just great literature. Uh, the good thing about the U.S. Uh, is that uh, because of freedom of speech, you an expression in the press, you can access material. Now, sometimes your regular broadcast channels are not going to talk to you about those things. That's why it's good to dig a little deeper and find stuff that are there, that are not blocked, that are not censored. It's just hard to see because... A lot of those uh, broadcast stations, uh, especially commercial ones, they want to make money. And the last thing they want is people sitting down and thinking seriously about things, whether it's literature or history or politics. And I'm not dissing anybody. It's just the nature of the beast. I don't know what it is like Europe. Now, going to Europe, I've started uh, not as much in detail to pay attention to the Euro European Union, that's another idea of union that we need to study. So when we meet in the future to uh, plan and write a new blueprint for this beautiful planet uh, so that we can treat life as sacred as it is, I think uh, there is some more material that we could use. Um, however, with the American experiment of over 200 years, uh, I think lots to be learned. Uh, I am uh, thinking of other things. I'm just looking at my phone. I'm sorry to see how much minutes, how many minutes I've got left on this video. And uh, I have mentioned somewhere that uh, the way India is treating with uh, the way they are looking at language and. Uh, because they're a multilingual country, and that that's a good good place to study uh, as far as what has worked well in uh, in using a common language for that big big country, populous country. We can learn a lot from you know places where they have had experiences of multilingualism. I believe every part of this planet is beautiful. Every child, uh, every young person is talented. The only thing uh, that they might have going against them is uh, a lack of hope for a job or a better future and uh, or access to education. But with the technology that's available now, I think good things will happen. Right now, we have small percentage of uh, very rich people, wealthy people, uh, no, I want to use the word wealthy rather than rich. Uh, wealthy people uh, that have got it, you know, Bill and Melinda Gates and Warren Buffett and a handful of others that uh, they don't need to wait till they're going to their grave before they split their money. Uh, because how much money do you need? My God. Uh, I've already shown you my apartment. My castle, I named it. Uh, oh, anyways, we'll, we'll talk about that some other time. But anyways, hopefully uh, the very wealthy people will realize it's best to share their uh, wealth now when they're younger rather than wait till uh, they either die or about to die um, to hopefully split and spread their wealth spread it now don't wait till your last breath this planet belongs to everybody <laughs>